guys! Today I want to share with you my ayam perchit recipe. I love ayam perchit so much. And there's actually two variations of ayam perchit. One is the red in color, another one is white. But today I'll be showing you how to make the red one. So over here I've got four pieces of chicken legs. Um, you can also use breast, you can also use um, smaller pieces of chicken but I love my ayam perchit like this and this recipe that I'll be making today um, we will be roasting the chicken in the oven but if you feel like throwing it on your barbecue pit you can as well and that would actually give an amazing flavor so first we're gonna marinate the chicken with these aromatics so I've got some shallots some garlic and some ginger I'm just gonna blend it uh, add a little bit of salt and just you know, marinate my chicken with it and leave it for about 15 minutes and grill it. And then we're going to make the sauce. And we're going to cover the chicken with the sauce and I'm going to pop it in the oven. It sounds complicated but it's actually really easy. So I'm just going to throw in my shallot, garlic and ginger. I'm going to throw in some salt as well and some salt all over my chicken. Just to make sure that it's season well a little bit of water and then we're gonna give it a good blitz all right now what i'm gonna do with my chicken is i'm gonna take a paring knife and sort of poke my the chicken legs this is so that it will absorb all the marinade. Not too much, you just want a little bit. You can also use the same recipe, but cook it with a different protein, like fish or your prawns. All right. I'm just gonna rub all the salt all over the chicken again we want to make sure that it's seasoned really well i'm going to take the spices that we just blended and pour it over the chicken i'm going to leave it to marinate for about 15 minutes and while we wait we are going to make the sauce. Okay, so now I'm going to prepare the ingredients for my sauce. So I'm going to use the same blender. I'm going to throw in some garlic, some shallots, of course ginger. Just going to cut this into smaller pieces. Candle nut. I've got some red chilies that I've removed the seeds. Just going to Throw these in as well and some lemongrass. Some water and we're going to blend it until you get a nice paste. Okay, I think we're good. And I'm going to start cooking my sauce. Okay, some people, um, they just like boiling everything together. But that's going to take a bit of time. So I like to saute my chili paste first. Um, so that I don't have that, you know, uncooked chili taste in my sauce. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to use a little bit of coconut oil. And we're going to saute the chili and add all the other ingredients and finish it off with coconut milk. And now that the oil is hot, I'm going to add in my chili paste. So this is going to take about two minutes. So you want the chili paste to turn into tiny little clumps. That's when you know it's cooked evenly. Okay, so this is done. You can see that the paste is no longer very smooth. You can see like all the little 
plums. So that's what you want. All right. So now we can add all the ingredients that we blended earlier. Just gonna add in a little bit of water to sort of clean my blender so I don't waste any of the ingredients. So now we can add our asam cupping and our coconut milk. I'm also gonna add sugar. You can also use um, palm sugar for this recipe if you like. You need quite a bit of sugar to even out the taste. It's gonna start with two tablespoons of my brown sugar. Give it a good mix. So we're gonna let this boil for about 10 minutes or until it becomes nice and thick and it you know, you get this beautiful deep orange color. That's when you know it's done. Okay, so now I am going to grill my chicken. Uh, and as I mentioned just now, if you don't want to do it on the pan, you can barbecue it over your charcoal or your wood chips. And you don't want to cook your chicken entirely. You just want to have that nice char flavor. So I've heated my pan. Now I'm going to add a little bit of coconut oil. too much and we are going to grill our chicken this is gonna take about about three three to four minutes for each piece so I'm gonna do two at a time skin down so I'm gonna do about a minute on each side and if you want more of the browning, you can do it longer. It's up to you. Just gonna pour some of the marinade over the chicken. And I'm gonna grill them for another minute or so. Alright, so this is done. I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna put these aside. And finish the rest of the chicken. So my sauce is nice and thick and you can see as I mentioned just now you'll know it's ready when it turns like deep orange. Almost like pumpkin soup. Ah, it smells beautiful. So I haven't seasoned it with uh, salt yet so I'm just gonna do that now. And as I mentioned earlier, it needs to be a little bit on the sweet side. So I added earlier on about three tablespoons of brown sugar in total. You can also use palm sugar or regular sugar. You can also use raw honey if you like. All right, so I think this is good. I'm gonna give it a quick taste. Yep. Ooh, so good. So first, I'm going to take my chicken, dip it in the sauce, put it back in the pan, pour more sauce over my chicken and pop it in the oven. Sounds complicated, but it's really not. Why I'm dipping the chicken in the sauce is because I want the chicken, the entire chicken to be covered with the sauce. You know, this is when you should be generous because you've got quite a bit of sauce here. We go. Oh, is that not beautiful? All right. The same with the rest of the chicken. All right, and we're gonna pour a little bit more of the sauce everywhere. There we go. And I'm gonna pop it in the oven for about 20 minutes and we are good to go. So I've preheated my oven at 190 degrees Celsius and we're gonna pop this in. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes. So now I'm gonna take my chicken out of the oven. Oh, it smells so good. Oh yes. Oh, look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. 
Wow. Oh, that looks absolutely beautiful. So I'm just gonna cut them into twos and we can serve it. Chop a little bit of coriander leaves and just sprinkle them over the chicken. Can I also scoop the sauce from the pan? just pour it everywhere it's never too much sauce guys never too much sauce there you go so here's my ayam brochet i hope you guys will try this recipe and i'm sure you'll enjoy it jemput makan